Here's a tutorial on how to obscure a small part of an image. Uh, I'm going to do it two ways. One of them is the standard blur way and another way is to simply put a text block over it. Um, I'm a novice at shortcut so if I'm doing something that belies that I'm a novice uh, deal with me please. Anyway the, the first way to do it is to put a blur over it and how you do that is you create a second video track so down here you hit add video track it's below the line on my system at the moment so I'm gonna go down here and search for the double bar pull that up so we can see it a little better my playhead is at the very beginning I'm gonna hit down here highlight the bottom row I'm gonna select this block of video and copy it then I'm going to highlight the upper row and since the playhead is at the very beginning I'm simply going to hit paste and there it is now I have two videos that are in perfect time synchronization and they're virtually identical to each other I'm going to hit the home key on my keyboard to move the playhead back to the very beginning and before I forget I'm going to select this upper track and I'm going to add the a filter of mute just so that I don't have two audio tracks playing over each other so to start blurring it the first thing you do is crop and the game that I'm after here is during this video if you look up here I have a clock and a thermostat on the wall that to protect my clients privacy I want it to gray out and how we would do that is you select a second filter and it's the crop so you go to the video guys up at the C's and there's crop and you choose it so now we have the two videos overlaying each other and I want to select the upper left corner so I want the bottom to come up and I want the right to come over so let's choose the bottom first I'm gonna click over here in the bottom to extend it and I don't know if you notice what happened but it cropped the bottom away but it kept the image centered and I'm gonna do a little bit more and a little more a little more and up oh, that's probably a little too much so I'm gonna back it off a little bit and now I'm gonna hit the right and we're gonna march over until I'm no longer uh, encompassing the cabinets a little more a little more a little more and that looks pretty good maybe a skosh more right there and down here in the lower left I'm gonna hide the lower track just so that you can see that's what we have cropped away on the upper track now that we've cropped it to the point we want the next thing we do is we go up and choose another filter and it's the size and position so we're on the videos we gotta go down to the S's and here's size and position so what it did was it put the cropped image back where it was and I'm just gonna drag this lower right hand corner up to encompass just the part that we cropped so that's really all I care about and we're almost done now that's where we want we've told shortcut this is what we're interested in now we just need to blur it so I'm gonna choose one more filter and there is a blur filter up at the B's so back up to the top choose blur and now it's just a matter of how much do you want to blur it you can blur it in width you can blur it in height and they're blurred away and now if I no longer hide the bottom you can see how that sits on top of it and I'm gonna hit the play button and it's not a lot to talk about but as you can see that area of the screen is just blurred out as we go okay I'm gonna undo these by hitting control Z on my keyboard the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete all these filters over here and I don't even need the upper track anymore for the second method that I'm using so I'll go over here the track is selected and I'm going to try to remove it which we do and now the playhead is no longer at the beginning which doesn't matter but I'm gonna hit the home key on my keyboard to move it to the beginning and I'm also gonna slide the track
tracks down a little bit to give you a little more visibility. So here we are back at the beginning. Uh, the trouble with blurring, as I showed you, was uh, in this case the clock and the thermostat were still telegraphing through the blur, which may or may not be what you're interested in. Another way to obscure it is to put a text block over it. So I'm going to go down here and select the other track and then the track I'm interested in and my little plus sign for the filters is highlighted. So I'm going to choose a text filter which is a video filter down in the T's. There's text and it comes up with the time code which I'm going to delete away and I'm just going to hit the space bar on my keyboard a few times to cut, put a couple spaces there. Now how I'm going to obscure it is I'm going to change the background color. So I click here on the background and this window comes up. I'm going to get it out of the way and I'm going to choose a color sort of a bluish gray maybe leaning a little bit toward the red down here and I'm going to slide this obscurity thing on the right here up a little bit to about there and there's the color we have. I have to set the alpha channel to 255 to get full saturation and I'm just going to fiddle a little bit with these colors. I'm going to lighten it a little bit to kind of get it sort of what I think is a good match and I'm going to hit OK. And there's the color. Now I need to drag the text block over to the point where I'm interested in. Kind of like that. And I think I've got three or four space bars down here. I'm going to take one away and you can see that that full the background to the full window that I have there and that's what we have and maybe that color is good maybe it isn't but obviously you can keep adjusting the color till you get it a little bit closer you're never going to get it perfect because in the original video the color down here is different than the color up here and this obviously is going to have no color gradient to it it's just going to be a block of opaque color so maybe you want it uh, slightly different maybe a little bit darker over here and you just slide it a little darker hit OK and maybe that's more what you have in mind. And if you're happy with that, I'm just going to hit the play button. And you can see the video going through. And this obscured area, okay, maybe this is acceptable to you, maybe it isn't. But this might be, a, this might be an option for some of the applications you have going forward. Hope you appreciated this video. If you do, uh, don't be afraid to hit like. And thanks again.